Live from NBC4, the Southland's number one late news, the Channel 4 News at 11. This is a look at the presidential motorcade as it moves through the Southland en route to a big fundraiser tonight, but it appears the president, President Bush, may have been snubbed by the state's top Republican, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. Tonight, the uh, governor is playing down the alleged snub or apparent snub, but the president is taking part in a big GOP fundraiser. And the fact remains, Governor Schwarzenegger is nowhere in sight. Channel 4's Patrick Healy live in Westwood right now with details. Patrick. Colleen Chuck, if the governor intended to send the president a message, he did tonight. Now the challenge is to contain the repercussions. Tonight, the president's motorcade on L.A.'s west side, only a handful of miles from Governor Schwarzenegger's west side home. But the two did not meet. Not at the Bel Air fundraiser the president headlined, nor earlier was the governor at L.A. International when the president arrived for a quick 24-hour trip. Instead, the governor made a public appearance at a solar power event in Thousand Oaks, where responding to questions, he downplayed his presidential snub. It's very important not to make a big deal out of it, because it's not. Um, President Bush is always welcome to California. I have made it very clear that I have a great working relationship. The Republican governor is certainly aware of the Republican president's low approval ratings in predominantly Democrat California, as the governor focuses on campaigning and fundraising for four initiatives on the ballot for his special election in less than three weeks. Yesterday, Schwarzenegger pointedly criticized the president's timing. We would have appreciated if he would have done his fundraising after the November 8th election, because, you know, we need now the money, all the money in the world, in order to make sure that we win. But if anyone thought this test of Republican will could be kept within the party, so Democrat Assembly Majority Leader Dario Fromer rhetorically scolded the governor not to pass up an opportunity. The least you can do today is take a few minutes out of your fundraising schedule to meet with President Bush and press him for additional federal dollars. A White House spokesman said the president looks forward to working with Schwarzenegger in the future, but apparently that won't be tomorrow. The governor has indicated he has another commitment and won't be joining the president at the Reagan Library event before the president flies out of California. We're told the president is overnighting at the west side home of a fellow Yale alumna. So west side commuters need to be aware there will be more traffic tie-ups along Sunset Boulevard and the 405 freeway in the morning. Reporting live from Westwood, Patrick Healy, Channel 4 News. All right, now tonight the latest on Hurricane Wilma, which seems to be on a collision course for the state of Florida. But tourists in Cancun, that's in Mexico, are already feeling that hurricane's power. Right now, the storm is battering the popular tourist resort. Many who couldn't get out have moved now to emergency shelters. Carl Bell has been tracking the storm for us tonight, and he's here right now at the latest. Carl? All right, Chuck. Well, the direct impact is going to be the Yucatan Peninsula for tonight through tomorrow with 150-mile-an-hour winds, 7 to 11-foot storm surge, 10 to 20 inches of, of rain. Some astronom astronomical numbers there. As we put this into motion for the past 24 hours, you'll see that northwest we're tracking about 6 miles per hour. Category 4, borderline Category 5, but that's really splitting hairs at this point. The bottom line is a lot of rain and a lot of surf is headed toward Cozumel and Cancun. Once it leaves the Yucatan Peninsula, it's going to veer to the right and arrive to the east coast of Florida a little bit later than early expected. I'll be back with the full forecast in just a few minutes. All right, Carl, the uh, mother accused of throwing her three young children into the San Francisco Bay last night is being held tonight in a hospital jail. The body of one child has been found Authorities still searching for the other two. Noel Walker has the very latest right now from San Francisco. The San Francisco waterfront that beckons tourists with its picturesque views is attracting visitors for a different reason tonight. Life gets to you and you, people crack and then tragedies occur. Richie Goldstein can see Pier 7 from his waterfront condo. He's had a bird's eye view of tonight's extended search for two of three brothers dropped into the San Francisco Bay. The Goldsteins felt a need to be closer, to reach out and touch what was lost. If somebody could have intervened earlier and um, gave her the help that she needed. LaShawn Harris is charged with the murders of her three young children at the pier numb silence from family members. They say she was mentally ill and not taking medication. She told my mama when she was going to feed him to the sharks. A threat no one took seriously. Harris had been living at this Oakland homeless shelter with her kids. Why she allegedly brought them to the pier, took off their clothes, and dropped them into what amounted to a watery grave 
is almost beyond comprehension. Certainly something like this, tragic situation, something that hope, you know could have been avoided, uh, tugs at all of our hearts. Though the fire chief says there's talk of putting up life preservers, the reality of living in a city surrounded by water is there is little to prevent history from repeating itself. Tragic story. That was Noel Walker reporting from San Francisco. U.S. officials tonight say that American soldiers could face criminal action if accusations prove true that they burned the bodies of Taliban fighters in Afghanistan. The U.S. command in Afghanistan issued a statement saying that it does not tolerate the desecration of remains and promised a full investigation. Now, this controversy stems from a video allegedly showing American soldiers burning enemy bodies, apparently in an effort to enrage the Taliban and force them out of hiding. Islamic clerics are now warning of possible new anti-American backlash there. Texas Congressman Tom DeLay will have his first day in court tomorrow in Austin, Texas. He was fingerprinted and photographed today just like any other criminal defendant. DeLay turned himself into a sheriff's office today in Houston and took this booking photo. Shows him with a big smile, which his attorney says was purposely posed to project his confidence against the charges. DeLay and two associates are accused of violating Texas state election laws. He was released on $10,000 bail. Delay, a Republican, says the prosecutor, who is a Democrat, is simply out to get him. They are still looking for him tonight. Next, the driver who collided with a man on a motorcycle, causing the death of a young musician who played in a local band. And a bit later, plans to make our freeways faster. Why, some may be delayed or even worse. And coming up around 11.15 tonight, simple things that can sometimes cause some real painful injuries. It's a serious look at handheld hazards. All right, in the Kings' return engagement in Dallas, they turn in one weird goal. A Larry Bird fan will serve time for his idol. And the Lakers' Kobe Bryant may be in mid-season form, but the rest of the team needs a lot of work, Carl. Oh, my friend. Well, we're talking about a lot of low clouds and fog for now. Could be part of the morning commute as well. And the latest on Wilma, my live pinpoint Doppler forecast, is coming up.